Daisy, didn't you? <laughs> Little Daisy? She's the Lord's precious pet. <laughs> this is terrible. This is terrible. If the master hears of this... Oh. I heard, Mickey. Ah! Oh, young master. Please, you must keep this a secret from your father. Please. Allow me to thank you for ridding us of that foul monstrosity. <laughs> It belonged to my father, but it was just so hideous. <laughs> Surely you're not traveling through here as mere tourists, I take it. Have you some business matters to discuss with my father? Well, you went to the trouble of defeating that creature just to come here, so it must be important. In appreciation for cleansing the ocean, I shall speak to my father on your behalf. Now, Mickey, you will accompany us. Don't worry, I will smooth things over with my father. Really? You will? Have you forgotten? I do not lie.
Those people. Please, let us accompany you. The young master would like to go on a journey. He wishes to expand his knowledge and see the world. Listen, I observed your dealings with my father. Oh, how he fills me with utter disgrace. I realize that I must surpass my father and strive to be noble. After all, it is I who will eventually succeed him. As for me, well, I have lost my job, so if possible, I would very much like to join you. <laughs> I have done a disservice to Mickey. From now on, I intend to protect him. Please allow him to come as well. I would be most grateful. Oh, thank you so much! You are truly a gracious friend. Now, it's your turn. Please feel free to show us your sentiments. My friend, one of my acquaintances is an engraver. Will you bring the rose crest he made as proof of our undying and everlasting friendship? If you do so, we too will swear to accompany you through any and all hardships. This is how things are done in my family. Isn't that right, Mickey? Uh, what? Hardships? You mean me too? Right? Uh, yes, I, I suppose so. <laughs>
Yeah.